Welcome to Pack a Lunch. Uh, today we are doing Alberta. Happy Canada Day in September. Happy Canada Day. Yeah. This has been running a little bit longer than we had originally anticipated, uh, but we're almost through it. We have this one and another province to go. You missed it. There were explosions. It was awesome. It was crazy. So today we're doing a very heavily requested uh, dish for Alberta. We're doing Calgary style ginger beef. So this was uh, not particularly invented in Calgary, but it was made popular by um, a hotel, a particular hotel in Calgary. They couldn't stop eating it. And if you're in Alberta, or if you've ever been to Alberta, you know what ginger beef is. So today we're gonna show you how to make it. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is get yourself some beef. We got a couple of uh, boneless steaks. Uh, we're just gonna slice up. Before we slice it, actually, we should do the marinade. So to do the marinade, you're gonna need a few things. So you're gonna need soy sauce, you're gonna need some cooking wine, or drinking wine, well, just wine. Um, you're also gonna need some ginger, and you're gonna need some sugar. What's the difference between cooking wine and drinking wine? Cooking wine's usually a little stronger. First off, you're gonna start with a tablespoon of sugar, two tablespoons of soy sauce. Oh, you're actually measuring. A tablespoon of wine. There's a tablespoon. That's about that. Two tablespoons. Can't put the tablespoon in there. Of ginger. Guess we're not measuring this either. I'm just gonna mix that up. You can make more if you want. Um, it's marinade, so you really can't go wrong with it. You know what? We're just gonna put our own spin to it. A little bit of whiskey never hurts anything. <laughs> it's something alcoholic. We cut the crap. And you're gonna wanna cut it. Matchstick. So roughly about there. That's way thicker than a matchstick. Oh, I know. And the meat will be a little easier to cut if it's a little bit frozen. But we're fresh. Not a little bit frozen. DJ, bring that beat back. Error, error. Error, error. Someone's got to count the change. Might as well be us. Put that delicious meat in there. Five, six, seven, eight. This is how we marinate. Go, oh, ginger beef. But wait, there's more. As from a uh, movie that was supposed to be called Scary Movie. No, that really was scary. Barbara Streisand. She's frightening. Oh, Babs. Oh, I would never hurt you. I don't want to get all the meat covered in your delicious marinade. And you're going to want to cover that. If you could smell this, you'd be home right now. Okay, I'm just going to cover that. And put it in the fridge for approximately a half an hour. And while you're marinating, make friends with your friends. It goes in his own pocket. Nope, just looking at it. Alright, so the next thing you do, you can do this while it's the uh, meat's marinating. Whilst? Whilst the meat's marinating. We decided to clean a bunch of snake tanks uh, while the meat is marinating. Uh, and if that kind of thing interests you, while well, um, the meat is marinating, we're going to give a shout out to Maritime Reptile Zoo in Halifax. While the meat is marinating. While the meat is marinating. Uh, they're going to be opening, probably not this season, but next. Uh, hopefully this season with a brand new zoo. 
So check them out when they're open. Gerard Zipardou. You can find them on Facebook as well. Is that French? I don't know. Sound French. Okay. So with our vegetables, we're not going to put a lot of veggies in this. Um, it's not a complete stir fry. So what you want is a small onion, a green bell pepper, some celery, and a carrot. And you're just going to dice them up in matchstick form, I guess. <laughs> what is it? you in matchsticks today? That's I read it. Matchstick men too. This time it's vegetables. It was short notice, this is the best I could come up with. So once again, you're going to want to julienne these there instead of matchstick cut. I'll use the proper term. The hell does that mean? Julienne? Yeah. It means to cut into thin stations. Thin stations. <laughs> We're being mocked and ridiculed from the other room. More of an off green. Shut up. Why do I be so angry? What do you got going on here? I have onions. No, it's more of an off onion. Shut up. I'm not going to use too much onion. Just a little bit. I filmed all of it, but I'm only going to show the part where you dropped it. Skinning the carrot. That was perfectly easy. There's more than one way to skin a carrot. Um, Cat is short for carrot. I'm just gonna go with this. One of them is julienne. I don't know how to julienne a carrot, so. Dear internet, please tell us how to julienne a carrot. Uh, signed, pack a lunch. Uh, P.S. K. Thanks. Smiley face. sound of each vertebrae snapping. That is our veggies. If you don't like them, I don't care. I don't. You do now. Here you go, vegans. There's uh, your dinner. We are now going to make the batter. Because everything's better with batter. Batter up. You better believe it. Ah so We're going to take one egg. Just one. Break that son of a bitch in there. I'm just gonna watch. I'm having a shell of a time. To shell with it. Uh -huh. You are all getting sleepy. You will do what I say. Beat your egg because it did something to you. Alright, so you're gonna put your flour in. And that's a quarter cup of flour. Is that so? Cornstarch. Cornstarch. No, it's cornstarch. You're also going to want a quarter cup of water. I'm going to throw some olive oil. If you don't have olive oil, sesame oil works well. Or if you just want to use regular old vegetable oil, oil's oil. Oil's well that ends well. For this, we're going to put a little bit of uh, sweet chili sauce. Taste. Now we are going to mix this up. Uh, you may need more batter. If you do, just simply make more. I suspect we're going to need more batter. Okay, so now we're going to make the sauce that goes with it. Um, so the first thing you're going to do is put four tablespoons of sugar in a bowl, a tablespoon of Wine, again. How many spoons have you had? 20. You're going to put a tablespoon of vinegar. Uh, you're going to put some oil. You're going to put some chili sauce. And since our meat has already been marinating in ginger, you know, probably a little less than a teaspoon will do. Two tablespoons of soy sauce. And while I'm doing this, you're gonna mix this all up. Steve can start coating the uh, ginger beef and dropping them. Cool. 
what you do is you take your meats and you dips it in the battery dealy that we made earlier and then you put it into your deep fryer so remember these guys I do they're gonna get dipped into this dropped into this which we preheated to 170 favorite tongs oh my favorite tongs ha so there you go dip your meat in there and then one of our rules for putting things in a deep fryer is to put it in slowly, let some of the batter start to cook before you completely drop it so it doesn't stick to the bottom. That is uh, going to turn into a tasty eel. So grab another worm. Dip your snake and then put your eel back to the ocean. Chicken, you know it's done when it floats. Steak's a little bit different. So how you know they're done is they turn a golden brown on the outside. This one's a little bit more cooked. Well, it's done. And bam, steak. They cook pretty quick. Or ginger beef ginger beef. So again, golden brown, looking delicious. So while Steve is battering and frying the beef, I put a little bit of oil in a uh, wok or a wok-like pan and I heated it up and I'm going to stir fry my vegetables in it. Fry them until they soften up a bit. Stop lying, fisherman. <laughs> it was seven feet tall if it was a day. What? I almost didn't get them, but I persevered. I knew I could have. Them. So after your veggies are softened up a little bit, what you're going to do is you're going to pour in the sauce. And mix that up and let that come to a boil. Now that this has come to a boil, uh, the sauce, and you've tossed your uh, veggies in, now we come to the boil. You can actually put in your beef, and we made way too much beef, but we'll put in what we have. That's the dumbest complaint I ever heard. Sacre bleu, we have too much food. So you're gonna toss this. all your veggies and voila ginger beef That's with it. your veggies so this is calgary style ginger beef happy canada day and pack a lunch There is no God. What do you, what do you want here? <laughs>